And take a look, folks. Any close now, right, over this Bollinger Band at 735, there's like $50 of upside. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the Access of uh, Monday edition. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had uh, a really, really good uh, trading session. A little bit, little bit odd from the technical point of view, uh, just because if we if we talked about what we talked about during uh, the weekend update, you had really, really strong moves in rotation into uh, the financials, right? Financial sector and the one biggest element on kind of the, the weekend observation was that the IWM uh, reclaimed the 50 day moving average and initially gapped up and kind of had an inside day. So you had financials that didn't confirm their, their previous channels. Because if again, if you look at, for example, the Goldman Sachs, it obviously never got above uh, this whole area here. You look at the Citibank, obviously never got over there. Even a name like Schwab, um, Schwab that I was watching never got this channel here. But the one consistent group that continues to melt up, and obviously that it's much more important for us uh, than anything else, you know, whether it's financials, whether it's uh, the Russell, whether it's anything, consumer, anything involved, right? The most important part and in, in, in our sweet spot, at least the world that I'm in, is technology. And can technology was absolutely amazing today, okay? Uh, not only was there a huge disconnect, if you look at the diamonds today, uh, the Dow was down a little bit. The Qs continue to absolutely go nuts. Uh, the NASDAQ 100, very, very strong moves. The technology names uh, continue to lead. And when you look at the big core groups, right? I mean, the really big core groups, this is the one, man. This is the one that, again, represents the speculation money. No matter what you trade in the world, uh, if you are a fund manager, an index fund, pension fund, whatever the case may be, mutual fund, People want to own technology, okay? And this has been the growth story since 1998, 1999 with the whole internet craze. Uh, after 9-11, after the mortgage mess, everybody wants to be in technology because when you close your books at the end of the year and you look at the biggest growth stories, they continue to look exactly the same. And again, Amazon, despite missing their numbers, again, we talked about how important that five, 10 day moving average is. Look at this move here. Amazon looks like, like a magnet into the 50 day moving average. Apple exploded today, absolutely went nuts today. Uh, really, really big long distribution here for about four weeks or so, got out of this channel here with very, very heavy uh, option flow to come. Again, we'll get to the individual pivots in a second. Facebook went absolutely bananas today. And it was, what was cool about what happened today in technology, if you look at the leaders, right, the leaders of what brought this market up and confirmed this recent highs on the queues, they were the semiconductors. You guys remember that? They were the semiconductor names. That they the ones who started this whole rally. And the semiconductors, the SMHs went from 249 all the way up to 275. So what was cool about today's strength in the market was when semiconductors pulled in, and at one point, you know, a lot of them really lost their steam. But again, is it really hard to fathom they're going to be profit taken when, when NVIDIA had a run from, you know, 187 to 230, there's going to be some profit taken. You can see, so they weren't the leaders. They were taking their breaths. But what I really liked what I saw today, and it kind of goes back into the theory of why this melt up continues to happen. Even when the semiconductors were taking out lows, Tesla didn't move. We'll get to Tesla in a second. Facebook didn't move. Apple didn't move. Amazon didn't move. Netflix didn't move. The stocks that were really, really strong and the Wall Street darlings through generation and generation, through all the window dressing towards the end of the year that the fund managers want to show their customers that they have these stocks in their books, they started getting really strong. They started taking out aggressive levels. And here we are, right back to all-time highs. Tesla looking phenomenal. Confirmed a major, major 
uh, channel today. You got Facebook going nuts. You got Apple going nuts. You had a four day run uh, in Amazon going absolutely nuts. Microsoft woke up today, right? Had a nice sleep here for one, two, three, four, five days. Woke up again. Again, stone throws away from going crazy. You got Square maybe a day or two away from confirming this macro linear regression line. Um, you have even a name like Coinbase, right? That's not your traditional wall street technology darling right you look at this thing this thing is a day away you know maybe a day or two away of confirming this whole channel here and start filling in this gap you know into this 275 278 channel so technology looks really really great uh any weakness like literally any weakness in facebook uh facebook apple tesla uh, Facebook, Apple, Tesla, what else is going on? Netflix, they have to be bought into rising 60 minute support. Again, names like NVIDIA have had their really, really big runs. Leave them alone. Okay, that, that trade is done. Leave them alone. There's a lot much more aggressive value. Stocks coming off the bottom channels, and those are the names that the money flow is coming back into. The craziest part about this is we're what? Four days away from Labor Day weekend, the majority of the institutional money flow is not even here yet, right? So if we can continuously kind of melt up, melt up, melt up, you're going to see the true nature of aggression when people start coming back after Labor Day weekend. So the idea that the market is strong now, well, you haven't seen anything yet because if the liquidity, right, the really aggressive liquidity comes all across the board in this tape, then there is a high probability that we do have a seasonality strength into the fourth quarter and we talk about this all the time uh the turkey rally right the thanksgiving rally spilled over into the santa claus rally into the january effect yada 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 it's all gun drop right gumdrops and and hand grenades so uh going into tomorrow again I i'm trying to keep it as basic as possible right tesla into dips facebook into dips Apple into dips, right? One stock that's dipping, it's probably continue to dip despite beating their numbers is Zoom, which is which is really, really uh, amazing that, yes, I get it. Uh, we're not locked down anymore, but the growth is still there. And, you know, this is a pretty, uh, pretty aggressive reaction uh, to after hours despite beating their numbers. Now, again, I'm recording right now. So, you know, is there something going on in the conference call that can, you know, shake some trees of course but this is a pretty aggressive reaction uh considering how strong the technology group is but again you can't really paint a picture on one quarter uh and you know and kind of paint it into a corner with the overall effect again if that was the case then amazon would be the worst company in the world because they missed their numbers so the the, the story is not still told or not yet told on zoom yet but if, from on the surface it's a pretty ugly uh reaction into uh earnings so let's talk about uh today again incredible aggressive moves right uh and, and again it wasn't it, it wasn't names that we were random names that we would never watched before these were names we trade and that's the whole thing it's beta it's mega te mega cap technology and the one thing is if all you guys you know, for all you guys who do trade mega cap technology when these things wake up man they're, you know they're not run by wall street bets this is institutional money flow that's really coming in on the aggressive option side and if you look at names just in the last few days right you saw the 730s coming in on Tesla, the 750s. Today you saw 750 weeklies, 780 weeklies, even before uh, it confirmed the 730 level. You saw Apple when it broke above uh, the set, the 151, 70s level, right? You started seeing 52 and a halfs come in, 55s, 160 call buyers coming in. Very, very aggressive. The run up on Amazon, right? You saw 3,400, 3,500 calls coming in. So the money flow is there. The sentiment is obviously there, and now we are in the sweet spot uh, going into the fourth quarter. So let's talk about uh, today's pivots. Uh, Netflix, right? Netflix had a really great move on Friday, 553, 554 sneaky area, 558 needs to build. Uh, now it needed to confirm 565. Again, not a huge move because it is a little, right, a little overextended, but still nice little move here, traded all the way up into uh, the 67s. This thing looks a little bit higher. I think right now the value in Netflix though is to buying it into uh, rising 60 minute support instead of chasing into, into, I don't use the word chasing, but buying it into strength just because it did have this really, really big uh, two week run up that started from 521. So the value play in this thing kind of going forward is buying it near the 60 minute 
uh, support. Uh, Facebook, 374 needs to build. Facebook just went absolutely bananas. Uh, so it took out the 74. It took out uh, 77 and traded right to the linear regression line at 382. Just an absolute monster move on Facebook. Uh, Square rejected 271 twice, needs to build. And Square is coming up to a macro area. Not there yet. So it took out the 71, traded to 74, but it needs to clear out this whole channel here. So I'm going to be watching this thing for the next couple of days. It might not go tomorrow, but there's definitely going to be a very, very important area coming up uh, in Square. Again, when one goes, they all get pulled up. So you just have to be kind of uh, ready for them. Uh, if you guys remember, AMD 110 rejected on Friday. Uh, now 112 became a big level, needs a strong build over 112. Here was AMD, right? It took out uh, the 112 and traded all the way up to 14 and a half before kind of reversing course. Uh, nice move there as well. Uh, HUT, you guys remember HUT from Friday, right? HUT, small cap lovers, 720, 735, big levels. They're coming for the September $10 calls. And I said this morning, big, big move Friday, right? Now it needs 785, 790 for a new base for more upside. Here was HUT, really good strong close, right? Big close here. So it took out the 90, right? So here's the 720, 35, took out the 90 and traded close pretty much at the high of the day uh, at 830. Really, really big move uh, there as well. Uh, I see never, you know, never got to that 1080 level. I still like the trade, but doesn't look like there's a lot of interest in this name. Maybe it wakes up in the next couple of days. Goldman never came close to the 21. Schwab never came close to the 76. They sold financials today. Uh, AXP never came close to the 169. They never, they never confirmed. Uh, eBay, uh, 76, 75, 77 needs to build. Here was eBay, right? Here was eBay, it took out the 76, 75, uh, traded up to about 78. I still think there's like at least another dollar, dollar and change uh, in the name. Nice move on eBay. And da, 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 Triple D uh, traded the 3120 and never got close to uh, you know reclaiming it. Uh, just going nuts here. 5170 on Apple got rejected twice. Here was Apple. As you could tell, the theme was technology, and they were just going up one by one by one. So it took out the 5170, uh, traded the 53 and a half. Again, you got to look at Apple on all dips. Absolutely all dips on Apple for tomorrow. Uh, huge move. Here comes 67s on Netflix. TTD I still like here. So t Tesla, right? Tesla, big area, 730. We actually got long off the 718. If you guys remember, uh, for all you guys who are not in the webinar, uh, we were talking about that 715 seller for a week. They cleared out that seller. They took out 717. We actually got long off the 718 level, but this 730 was absolutely huge. It becomes a monster level here. So Tesla took out, takes out the 730. And now after hours, it traded all the way up to uh, 737. This thing looks higher. Again, guys, they were coming for uh, the 750 weeklies, the 780 weeklies. And take a look, folks. Any close now, right, over this Bollinger Band at 735, there's like $50 of upside in this thing. Unless some crazy news comes out on Elon Musk and some orgy parties or God knows, some crazy news, right? If there's no macro news coming out on Tesla, no downgrades, no, you know, no curveballs, no wrenches in the in the wheels, this thing has another $50 worth of upside uh, in the name. So if Tesla starts building over that Bollinger Band, there's gonna be a lot of room uh, to the upside. Again, uh, opening range highs we're watching for tomorrow. For all you guys who are not long, we're definitely watching opening range highs. And for all you guys who are long, hopefully we'll get a lot bigger move uh, going into tomorrow's session. Let me give you guys some other names uh, that look pretty good. Uh, I like letter U, right? I think letter U looks pretty good. Good consolidation here. I'm going to watch the top of the range here. Uh, that looks good. I kind of like this TDOC. Maybe it has some negative effects just because Zoom is coming out, you know, came out with some crappy numbers. It's all the stay at home plays, but I'm still watching this bottom channel here. Again, not a lot of people looking at this thing. That's a good thing. Well, maybe not, maybe not after this broadcast, but if it starts taking out this top of the channel here, maybe we could go on a little bit of a run. I, again, I, I doubt that it will go tomorrow just because of what's happening here in Zoom, but again, you never know. And uh, look at Plantier, right? Plantier, we saw some pretty aggressive option flow uh, coming into this name. The only reason why it stopped here was this, this Bollinger Band. If this thing starts reclaiming the Bollinger Band, we saw some 30 calls coming in, some 27s, some 28s. 
uh, short-term expiration. This so that could be a pretty good play uh, as well. But that's it, guys. That's all, that's all I got. I got a crazy busy night tonight. I got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, guys, have a great night. For all you guys who are coming to the webinar tomorrow, please get to Morning Strategy early. There's a lot of moving parts uh, for tomorrow's open, and hopefully tomorrow we'll get a nice, seamless premium session. Guys, have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to